Hey y'all, welcome to my barn. I'm out here with Traveler. We've been working on some stuff and Traveler's really good at a lot of stuff. He really enjoys a wide range of activities and he's very enthusiastic, which always makes me very happy because donkeys aren't enthusiastic um, unless they really like something. So I know he likes what we're doing when he's enthusiastic. As good as he is at a lot of things, there's also some things he's not very good at. Not good at backing, and he doesn't like backing. He's also not good at personal space. He can be a little bit in my business and I have to remind him, your space, my space. And you have to remind donkeys a lot. <laughs> Get out of your space because they're just loving and once they decide that you're not mean or going to hurt them. So even a non-trained donkey can be very friendly and very in your business. Um, it's up to you to train boundaries. So those are two things that travelers not get at. Um, Traveler also lacks some confidence on the trails um, that we're working on. Um, he's an excellent riding donkey, though. He does ride really beautifully as long as we're in a comfort zone area. And there's nothing wrong with that. He was a rescue, and he had a lot of trauma and a lot of issues to overcome. So, why am I doing this video? I just wanted to point out that... No donkey is probably going to be good at everything. And I feel like people focus way too much on what their donkey is doing wrong or, you know, what their donkey won't do or can't do instead of maybe focusing on what the donkey really likes and he's good at, which then allows you to throw in those little things the donkey doesn't like as much. He's not really learned to like it yet. Um, you've not given him a reason to like it yet. If I just focus on Traveler sucks at backing up. Um, Traveler isn't confident when he's out of his comfort zone. Traveler doesn't respect boundaries. Um, you know, that would become very, very negative and he would feel that negativity. And there's a good chance that you know, he might start not enjoying time with me because I've got such a sour attitude, which is going to mean he's going to have a sour attitude. What I choose to do is just work on the things he's not good at in between all the things he is very good at and I'll focus more on how can I make him like the things he's not good at or he doesn't like yet and really focus on the things that he does like maybe getting better at those and there's always room for improvement like traveler's an excellent jumper he loves to jump um maybe he could jump higher and um, maybe he could take jumps at a faster gait because he doesn't trot he's gated which is beautiful um Mm, I never have to focus on Traveler is too bumpy to ride. I just wanted to put it out there because I feel like people get very negative about what their donkey can't do or they see on social media all these donkeys that are doing all this stuff and then they feel bad because their donkey can't do all that stuff yet. If you want your donkey to do stuff, you can certainly train the donkey to do lots of stuff. It may take time. No two donkeys are alike. And some donkeys are going to get some things really quick. Others are going to get other things really quick. A jib here, learning to drive in eight days, not typical. And um, does that mean I'm going to focus on the other donkeys that maybe took three months to learn how to drive? Mm -mm. No, I'm just going to be happy with that donkey's accomplishments and work on the things that donkey's good at in between working on getting them better at driving. Um, of course, I have tons of fabulous resources to help you train your donkey so that they like it, so they're enthusiastic about it, and so they get good at it. Also, if your donkey is not in physically good shape, do not expect your donkey to, to jump like Traveler does or to carry you up mountains, you know, or pull a plow. Um, 
those are all things that take a lot of time, just like it takes humans, um, some of us more time than others to get in shape. Um, it takes some donkeys more time than others to get in shape. I hope this helps you out, and I hope it gives you a better mindset um, if you're feeling frustrated or upset. Don't do that. Focus on all the wonderful things your donkey's doing and how much fun you're having with him. And focus on being the best teacher you can be for your donkey and giving him clear signals and really kind, positive training methods so the donkey doesn't get sour. Because I promise you, if your donkey's getting sour, you're going to be sour and vice versa. Hope you're having a good one. I hope you're doing something fun with your donkeys today. And if you had no plans to do something fun with your donkey today, make a plan to do something fun with your donkey today, okay? Mm -hmm.